and welcome back to another video. So today we're going in the library together. I'm really excited. I have two to turn in and then I'm hoping to pick up a couple. I'm just literally walking through the library on my lunch break. So without further ado, let's go in.
Okay, guys. So, we made it in the library and came back out. So, I ended up with four books. Two, um, two by PLC authors, which I'm really, really excited about. I love my library and I enjoyed walking through. I did mostly the adult section because right now AARP is doing their tax preparation today. And so there was a lot of people like sitting around the young adult section. And I don't, I'm not comfortable filming in, in, uh, in uh, public just yet. So I thought we would, I would tell you about what I got. First one I got was everyone who can't, uh, everyone who can forgive me is dead. Honestly, I walked in and just saw this cover and had to have it. I'm not sure what it's about. I know it's a mystery. It just says she has everything to live for and everything to hide. Next, I got one that I had heard of before and I've just been trying to get my hands on and get read. I just haven't and that is Middle Game by Sean McGuire. Sean McGuire wrote one of my favorite horror of all time, which is Into the Drowning Deep. Um, she also wrote the Wayward Children series that I absolutely love. So got that one and then this one honestly the cover drew me in and now i'm curious and it is a drop of venom um this one is a rick warden presents and all the only thing i read was all monsters and heroes have beginning have beginnings and this is mine i'm curious i'm interested and just look look at that cover she is beautiful and then there's a velvet eyed man on the back which we all know I love Avatar and I love Reese so I'm interested in this a lot and then lastly was another adult pick and honestly Harlem the word Harlem made me stop and that is Harlem After Midnight by Louise Hare um, this one she is a London author I was looking at her little blurb in the back um, and it basically talks about a singer a body falls out of a window in a Harlem apartment and it looks just like the singer from the Apollo Club and I'm guessing that our main characters are going to try, try to solve the mystery. Um, it does say that it's a Canary Club mystery and there's one before this so I end up picking up the second one but I'm excited to see what this is about. But yeah, thank you for going in the library with me. I really enjoyed this more than I thought I would and now I have to go back to work from, from break or from lunch, I should say. So I will see y'all in my next one. Bye, guys.